Welcome back to Jetline Marvel for another thrilling aviation episode. According to reports, the UAE's Tawazin Economic Council had sent a letter to South Korea's Office of National Security explaining Abu Dhabi's desire for direct cooperation on the development of the KF-21. Surprisingly, the letter requested that Abu Dhabi replace Indonesia's investment in the program. Indonesia holds a 20% shareholding but has failed to meet its financial obligations, which had planned to purchase up to 50 KF-21s, joined the program in 2010, but fell behind on payments, owing an estimated $557 million by July 2022. In May Indonesia attempted to assuage Seoul's fears by announcing a revised payment schedule. The KF-21 Boromi's stealth capabilities are a crucial feature. The aircraft is equipped with modern stealth technology such as a low observable design, radar absorbent materials, and internal weapon carriage. These features lower the radar cross-section of the aircraft, making it more difficult to detect and track hostile radars. The KF-21's stealth characteristics increase its survivability and allow it to more effectively infiltrate opposing defenses. The UAE's alleged interest is not surprising. After all, Abu Dhabi pledged $30 billion in South Korean businesses, including defense. The affluent Arab Kingdom inked a $3.5 billion contract with South Korea for air defense missile system in January 2022. The largest ever arms export transaction for Seoul at the time. As these multi-billion dollar investments in the South Korean industry illustrate, the UAE would have little issue repaying Indonesia's debt to the Boromi program. Furthermore, Abu Dhabi would surely be interested in co-producing the fighter, since it would aid in the development of its domestic defense sector through significant technology transfers, which Seoul has proven to be generous with. The UAE has halted talks with the US over a record sale for 55th generation F-35 Lightning II stealth planes in late 2021. Due to differences over American preconditions and Emirati cooperation with China, the KF-21 Boromi is powered by two General Electric F-414 GE 400K afterburning turbofan engines. These engines provide the necessary thrust for the aircraft's high-performance capabilities. The F-414 engines are known for their reliability, fuel efficiency, and ability to operate in various environmental conditions. They enable the KF-21 to achieve the supersonic speeds and maneuverability required for air combat scenarios. On the other hand, India, China, and Turkey are already in the process of developing their own fifth-generation fighter jet. Turkey has already exhibited it and is awaiting the final engine selection for their fifth-generation fighter plane. Americans are looking forward to the sixth-generation fighter jet, which will be the most advanced in terms of engine thrust and weapons technology. Most countries are working together to develop collaborative efforts to build their own fighter plane. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about KF-21 fighter jet in the comments section.